Welcome back to Class Colors. Still on poem analysis. Today we'll be analyzing the poem Bracism by E. E. Sonia Olu. By the end of this class, you should know the content of the poem, be able to explain what the poem is all about, and finally, should be able to mention and explain the themes in the poem racism or racism the conquer one that eats through the universe breeding divide and rule in the land where ebony and ivory could live in perfect racism or racism the caterpillar that bruised through human skin haven't you seen that people are the same and ebony and ivory like good and bad live same racism or racism the cancer that is devouring humanity and to live in the harmony we should giving each other the surviving need living a life in the only universe with love peace and harmony in the kingdom ebony and ivory owned this poem has its own lines and is not divided into stanzas Racism is the belief that a particular race is better than another. E. Sanyaolu condemns racism because of the discrimination it causes between the blacks and the whites, which do not allow them to live together in peace and harmony. Like we see in the poem, the poet begins by addressing racism as a concept which discriminates people because of the color of their skin or ethnicity. The poet compares racism to a canker worm, a pest that feeds on leaves of plants. Just as the canker worm consume and destroy plants, that is the manner that racism also destroy people living in the world. Racism causes division between ebony, which denotes those who have dark skin that are mostly from Africa and the ivory which denote those who are light-skinned who have white skin from Europe, Asia and American countries. The poet accused racism for causing division between the ebony and the ivory who would have lived together without disunity and conflict. The poet further compares racism to a caterpillar, a worm-like moth that feeds on the leaves of plants. The poet posits that just as the caterpillar consumes and cuts holes on the leaves of plants, that is how racism has cut through the skin of human beings, causing division between those who have white skin and dark skin. The poet asked racism through a rhetorical question if it has not seen that both the white skinned and the black skinned are human beings and that since the bad and the good in the society can live together then the white and the blacks can do same in peace and harmony this we can see in line 10 and 11 haven't you seen that people are the same and ebony and ivory like good and bad live same the poet further compares racism to cancer, a deadly disease that kills rapidly. And from this comparison, we understand that racism is capable of causing health issues that can lead to death, health issues such as depression, low self-esteem, amongst others. So these health issues can lead to someone's death. The poet advised all and sundry that is both the blacks and the white that they should learn to live peacefully they should do things that elongate their lifespan and instead of discriminating against one another because of skin color they should live together in peace and harmony because the world belongs to all both the blacks and the whites this we see in the following lines living a life in the only universe with love peace and harmony in the kingdom, 
ebony and ivory owned themes in the poem are as follows the first is the negative effect of racism all through the poem the poet paints and portrays the destructive effect of racism through comparison by comparing racism to disastrous and destructive pests such as caterpillar cancerworm as well as cancer a deadly disease so we can see from this comparison that racism has a great destructive effect also the theme of the need for the blacks and the whites to live together in peace and harmony in the poem we also observe that the poet admonish admonishes all and sundry that is the both the blacks and the whites that they should live together in peace and harmony and they should do things that that would increase their lifespan as they live together which is states that giving each other the surviving need living in the only universe then lastly the theme of equality of all races i think this is one of the the major theme and message that the poet tries to convey that both the whites and the blacks are human and that the world is made for everyone and so everyone should live be able to live together regardless of their skin color regardless of the difference in their skin color you should be able to live together in peace and harmony because the universe is made for all not for a particular group of people alone so this is what this is the basic theme i think for me it's the major theme in this poem because once everybody sees that they are all the same there will be no room for discrimination and that is one thing that the poet tries to to convey to to all today that everyone is the same forgetting about the difference in their skin color and seeing that everyone is human everyone is human hope you enjoyed this poem and the content and the message of the poem as well as i do um trust you have learned one or two things from this analysis Thank you for listening. See you in the next class. Bye.